wall and you know anything that the karmic anything that the karmic tries to um tries to do is just coming back on them tenfold it's kind of it's such a ridiculous energy it's like all her oh, all her crap is just coming back on her tenfold oh my gosh I don't even know how to deal with that energy. It's just hilarious though, but I'm just saying like the karmics paying the hex themselves. Their karmics are paying the hex themselves. Oh my gosh. It's so ridiculous. But the energy I got is, I'm sorry if my video cut out. I just got a new phone. I guess the size limit was reached. So check my old video. If, if I don't know if it's in two parts, but check my old video. Um, or the video I just posted before this one. But the karmic's trying to reach the DM through his friends. So I had this dream that, um, I had this dream. It was like, okay, so, so the, the defined masculine needs to be smarter. In this dream that I had, um, in this dream that I had, it was like Jack and Rose. It was like, kind of like a modern day Titanic. Except this time around, Jack and Rose were meant to, like, both live. Like, there was plenty. It was like a giant. It was like this giant board. It was, like, bigger than the one in the movie. And they were both meant to get on it. And so in, in the dream I had, someone paid the masculine to get off this board. Even though he was meant to, like, even though there's plenty of room for them. This this person paid the masculine to um to swim over and give him uno cards like it was like this other guy that was on this board that was like you know kind of sinking and the like this guy paid the paid jack in the dream five hundred dollars to get off the board and he convinced him that the divine feminine was better off without him and that that rose in this scenario was better off without him and he paid him five hundred dollars to get off this board. And this to me, how I interpret it is there's a, there's a toxic masculine that's basically trying to, maybe he's trying to offer more money or he's trying to, to, um, he's trying to use money to confuse or manipulate this masculine. There's this toxic karmic friend of the masculines that's working with the karmic and this toxic friend is basically trying to use money to manipulate the masculine. Because it's like the masculine was good. Like, he didn't realize that this other guy was also on this, you know, on this little tiny board. And this other guy was sinking. This other guy isn't, this karmic toxic friend is not as well off as he's trying to appear like he is. Um, but in the dream, it's like Jack was on this, he was on this giant. It's like they had like this whole, it was like almost like, like a huge chunk of the ship. Like they were both good. There was plenty of room. But this little guy that was like, you know, this little pathetic karmic man that was, you know, kind of drowning over there convinced the masculine like, hey, like come swim over here. Like you, you know, you know, let her have the whole, let, let Rose have the whole thing. She needs all that. You know, she's better off without you. And I'll pay you $500 if you just come over here and, you know, you know, play Uno with me or whatever. And the Uno cards, I see that as gambling. Like this, this karmic masculine or this karmic toxic friend of the masculines, I should say, is basically trying to, I'm sorry, I got a new phone. Bear with me. I'll figure it out. But um, anyway, this this uh, toxic karmic ma uh, friend of the masculines is basically trying to convince the masculine, um, like he's trying to play his hand. He's trying to, he had like the Uno cards. Like he was trying to, he's taking a new approach to manipulate the masculine is what I'm getting. And he's doing that through the karmic. The karmic is either trying to do this through witchcraft or the karmic is verbally telling this the, the masculine's friends what to do to manipulate him, basically. I think there's one friend in particular that's incredibly toxic this like just like sociopathic energy is what I get from this guy. Um, and yeah, I see the Uno cards and, and, you know, to me, that's like a metaphor for like playing a new hand, playing, 
It's like the old hand wasn't working. So he's trying to, the karmic and this, and this toxic friend are talking and trying to figure out way, like different ways to manipulate the masculine because the old ways are not working anymore. He's figured them out. He's smarter now. So the, the karmic and the toxic, um, these two karmics, you know, the karmic woman and the toxic karmic uh, friend of the masculines are working together. And they're looking for new ways to manipulate him. And part of that is through money. So they might be, they might be trying to set him up. Ooh, they might be trying to set him up. There might be something illegal going on. They're trying to set him up. Oh my gosh. I just got that. Ooh. That just came through for somebody. Okay. There's a bad business deal. Bad money. Dirty money. Watch out. Watch out. Ooh. There's, that just came through strongly for somebody. Okay. I got to look into that. Ooh. What is that energy? Ooh. I don't like that. There's something shady going on here. Oh, okay. You need to, you guys need to be mindful of this. Like you need the, the DMs need to be mindful of this. Someone's trying to set the masculine up. Some of them are doing something illegal and they're trying to get the mat. Like they're trying to put it back. The karmic and the toxic friend for some, they're doing something illegal and they're trying to, they're trying to get the masculine caught. They're trying to get the masculine to take the fall for it. Or they're trying to get him to do something. Like they're trying to get him to like, like forge documents, but they're going to be recording him or something. They're going to be doing something. Like they're trying to catch him. They're trying to, they're, they're, they're plotting something. They're plotting something right now. Ooh, that's dirty. There's some dirty, there's dirty money. I don't know what it is. There's not a good finance. There's something about money. It's not a good offer. It seems like a good offer. These masculines need to quit this damn job. Like, honestly, you're going to get fired anyway. Some of these masculines are being stubborn and they think if they just do this and this and this, they're not going to get fired. No, you will get fired anyway. The karmic and the friend are plotting. They're going to fire you no matter what you do. You can prove yourself. You can bring in a fucking $100,000 to this company in a month. They're still going to fire you. And that is divine. That's the divine too, because this job is toxic. Look how toxic these people are. Why are you holding on to an old stagnant job? Like, why? Ooh, this is bad energy. But, like, you need to get out of that job. You cannot hold on to it. You are meant to have a life with your divine feminine, and you have a new job and new career waiting for you, a new career in store for you. And if you hold on to this job, it's going to, you're going to end up losing a lot of money. You need to get out now while you can before you end up, you know, getting caught in this drama where maybe they try to put you in jail for something you didn't even do. Or they tr there's something sneaky going on. Honestly, masculine, just quit. Just quit the job. Just quit the job now. I'm not even playing. Quit the job now. Call your feminines. Start a new life. Go go find work somewhere else. I'm not even playing. Some of these masculines could end up. Well, I want to. I don't want to say they could end up in jail, but honestly, and the karmic is gonna play pay tenfold. Even if the masculine spent a few months in jail, the karmic would end up spending like ten years in jail. You know what I mean? The karmics are screwed if this goes through. I don't think it's going to go through. I think that the masculines are smarter, but like they need, I don't know. Some of these masculines are stubborn and they need to just quit this job. They need to just get out. But, um, but yeah, someone's trying to influence the masculine through a third party. Someone's so, so the karmic is trying to either paying someone or she's talking to this toxic friend of the masculines and trying to manipulate him. And this toxic friend is trying to convince the masculine that, the divine feminine is over him, that she doesn't love him, that he needs to just focus on work. Because there was something about trying to distract him with money. Because remember, he was like, he was good. He was like, Jack and Rose were on this giant board. And this in this version, it was like modern day. It's like they could have lived through that. They could have, you know what I mean? They could have gotten through that and they would have been good. Like they were, there was a ship coming to rescue both of them together so they could spend their lives together. And this little pathetic karmic man over here was about to drown because he was on this little tiny board that was sinking and this masculine was a dummy and <laughs> no judgment like like I love my masculine I love him even when he makes stupid decisions I still love him he's still my person he pisses me off sometimes but I'm still in love with him I still want a future with him like I still want him here even if he's Oh, even if he frustrates me, I understand the I understand the feminines because this is the energy group. I understand it. You know, I'm in the energy group too. I love my person. I want him here. I want a future with him. I just wish he was a little bit smarter sometimes because I'm like, oh God, this plot is so freaking obvious. 
And I know the karmics are trying to, they're trying to convince these masculines that the divine feminine does not love them anymore. And it's just not true. The divine feminine does still love these masculines. You know, all like ugh, we do, you know, they do. It's like, fuck. But this little karmic pathetic man over here is sinking. Like that's what the masculine needs to realize. Like this guy is going to sink. He's going to, he's going to go down too. And it's almost like, it's like he's convincing the masculine to go down with him. That's the thing. That's because I took that, 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 you know, to be like, like he tricked him with money. Cause remember he was like, I'll pay you $500. Like, and it's, it's such an illusion because it's like, it's a measly little $500 and the, the the masculine was was on this board with with his feminine safe. They were safe. A boat was coming to rescue them. They were good, and he let this little pathetic karmic masculine convince him to get out of his safe zone, out of his safe space, and swim over there. And he's playing him. He's playing the the, the toxic karmic friend is playing the masculine. He's they're playing Uno together right now. They're playing. They're it's a game. He's switching things up on him because the other manipulations are not working anymore. So now they're resorting to something else. The karmic and the, the toxic friend are resorting to new things. And it's it's bad. It's bad energy. Trust me. Um, and yeah, I see, I see it as like they're trying to manipulate him with money because they're like, yeah, we'll pay you. We'll pay you. Here, come over here. Come over here where it's not safe. Come over here to my little, my little tiny board over here that's sinking into the water. Come over here with me. This is better for you. It's like what is that five hundred dollars is not going to do him jack shit if it if that if that area is sinking anyway you know what I mean like he was he's the board is where he wants to be with his feminine and he's got to recognize that like he it's like this this toxic karmic friend is trying to distract him with money he's trying to play on this masculine's ego on his desire for money trying to say like oh we're gonna get new clients we're gonna do this we're gonna do that just trying to trying to trying to mess with his head so that he just focuses on the money and ignores his divine feminine. They're trying to, this toxic friend is trying to screw with the masculine's head right now and just make him think like, like, Oh, money is where it's at. And he also, the other, the other illusion here too, is he was trying to convince him that the, that Rose was better off without him, that she didn't need him. And the thing I saw in my dream was Rose actually fell over. She actually, it tipped. She didn't know this board Rose, Rose was over here. Jack was over here. They were actually balancing each other out. They were balancing the board out together. So when he left the board, which, you know, this toxic friend was saying, oh, it's in her best interest. Like she's safe, she's better off without you. She's happier without you, blah, blah, blah. When he left the board, Rose actually sank. This whole board sank. This whole board that could have, you know, been held up, that was perfectly sturdy, perfectly safe. It sank because it was not being balanced out by Jack anymore. He left and Rose actually sank. It's sad. It's, it's, it's a sad story. So it's like, no, the divine feminine is not better off without you. She actually needs you. She needs that balance. She needs that, you know what I mean? Like you're that other half for her. You're her person. You're her, you're, you're what balances it out. You know what I mean? That's how true love works. And it's like, so please masculines, don't let people convince you that the divine feminine is better off without you or that she's happy. Don't let toxic, you know, readers or anyone come in between. Like there's a lot of illusions going on right now and you need to be smarter and you need to be mindful and you need to, you know, really, tr if this is a, this is your spirit guides are pushing you to finally trust your intuition and your heart because you know, you know, your divine feminine loves you and needs you and wants you in her life. You know that she's better off with you. Like, you know that you got to stop listening to the gossip and the rumors and the people that are trying to tear you down because there is you know, the karmics are really coming strong right now, trying to, to get in this masculine's head and make him think things that are just not true. They're just simply not true. You know what I mean? They're trying to make him doubt this connection. The karmic is, you know, going to this toxic friend and trying to get him to, um, to make this masculine doubt the connection he has with his divine feminine and trying to get him to make him, trying to make him fo focus on work and on money and ignore the divine feminine. Like, and it, it probably to the masculine might even seem like good intentions. Like this toxic friend is probably like, you know what? Maybe it's better off this way. Maybe you guys are better off this way. You know, we have so many new clients coming in. Like, you know, business is going to be booming. Like you're going to be at your best self soon. Like, you know, like, Hey buddy, like pass him on the back, like kind of energy where it's like, no, he, he has hidden motives. There is something bad. There's something negative here. Like he has hidden motives. He's just trying to get the masculine to focus on money and focus on whatever, um, you know what I mean? And ignore his divine feminine. It's, it's not, it's toxic. There's he, this guy does not have your best interest at heart. He is trying to, 
he just wants money and he just wants to use you. And there's something else here. Okay. Like if this is your story, you need to quit this job now. I am not playing. Like you need to quit this job now. I don't care how much money it is. There's more money waiting for you on the other side. If you quit and leave this toxic people behind, because for some, I'm getting that there's a much darker plot. And this new stupid phone of mine is probably going to cut the video out. So I'm probably, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'll get into it later, but there's, there's some, if this is your story, you need to quit. You need to quit. I don't care how scary it is. What you feel in the present moment, like that, that uncertainty is going to be way better than what this kind of, whatever this trap is that they're plotting. Some of them, it's something illegal. They're trying to get you caught for something illegal or they're doing something illegal and they're trying to get the masculine to take the rap for it. Like they're trying to, like they're setting, they're setting him up for something. They're setting him up for something really dark that could lead him in jail. And he needs to be smarter than that. They're trying, they're plotting something really heavy is what I'm feeling. And the divine masculine is, could end up in jail. He could end up out of a lot of money. Um, like, you know, they could end up taking a lot of money from him. Like there's some kind of plot here. They're trying to catch him. They're trying to, they're trying to do something and he needs to be smarter than this. And he needs to stop holding on to this job because this job is going to end. He's going to get fired. He thinks that he, the, the, some of the masculines think that they won't get fired. They think if they do this and this and this, they won't get fired. Or they're being naive again and they're trusting this toxic karmic friend because it's it's convenient. It's easy. So the toxic karmic friend is saying, yeah, just focus on the money, you know, probably better off without her anyway. Um, she's better off without you. Like, but it's, it's an illusion. It's a lie. It's a lie. You need to be smarter than that. You, your intuition is telling you and screaming at your spirit guides are screaming at you. Stop trusting this stupid friend. Um, but yeah, it's like some of these toxic karmic men are like, you know, are lying to the masculines and stuff and trying to trap him because they want the money. And they want, they want, this guy also wants, um, this masculine's ex-girlfriend or ex-wife as well. That's, there's also that jealousy and competitiveness there. And, and yeah, the karmic and this, and the karmic, the karmic woman and the karmic toxic friend are plotting against the masculine right now. He needs to be mindful. He needs to stop being a stubborn ass and just quit this job and just quit, quit while you're ahead. Um, because like I said, you do have another job, another career waiting for you with your divine feminine, and it's going to be more profitable. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's something else waiting for you. There's something better waiting for you. Some of the, some of the feminines already have something in mind for you. Some of them already have been looking for you on your behalf for jobs. You know what I mean? Like they have, there's something else better waiting for you financially. So just quit. Honestly, it's hard, but just leave it behind. The more you hold on to it, it it's going to get explosive. It's like, don't, you need to quit. You really need to quit. They're trying to, some of them, they're trying to set you up for something illegal. They're trying, there's something really, really dark and shady going on right now. And you need to be smarter and you need to just quit and take the money and go start a new life with your feminine and go find a new job. You'll be fine. And the feminine, it loves you and accepts you without the job. She doesn't need the money. It was the karmic that needed the money. The feminine does not give a shit about the money. She just wants you to be safe and happy. And she wants you to be with her and be in a safe environment. So, um, so yeah, please take this warning seriously. Um, if there's any business, anything that seems like any like biz money, I, I also get something about like a bad business deal or like not like something like there's some kind of hidden motive, something with like gambling or strategizing, like some kind of like not it's dirty money, money laundering, theft, something, something weird. There's some shady stuff going on. I'm going to cut this out before my stupid phone cuts it out. Um, sorry for my phone. I just got a new one, so I have to figure it out. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And as always, email me if you want a private reading. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. I'm doing $40 readings right now. $40, 30 plus minute video readings this um, for the, like, the next week only. So let's go ahead and email me. Thanks for watching.